Since 1968, the Pan American Center has been home to a lot of memorable acts and moments to not only the university. Johnny McCants at midcourt for the win. He got it! But to the entire Las Cruces community. Since its 50th anniversary in 2018, the Pan Am has had numerous changes to its infrastructure. Yeah, you know, the fact of the matter is the Pan Am is over 50 years old. In 2018, we celebrated the 50th anniversary. And, you know, even though the, bone, the bones of the building and it's very clean and taken care of, 50 years, you know, requires some updates. So you've seen us do anything from new scores, tables on the floor, a new floor, a video board, the center hung. Um, you've seen suites come online. Along with the changes to the infrastructure, the university's athletics department has made some identity changes to its logo. If you look at the floor historically, you'll see at one point we had a Z symbol on there. And then we had the three triangles. That's when I was going to school here. Um, you know, and we've had NM State. You know, now it's Pistol Pete. So I really think that um, over a 50, 60 year history, you're gonna have variations of the floor, maybe what's new, what's you know hot this time, uh, what, what the administration thinks. But since this is our primary logo, that's why the decision was made to, to use that. Really that was twofold. Uh, one, we felt that NM State was a better uh, better way to present our brand. Um, you know, the Aggies being bigger, there's other Aggies, Texas A&M, Utah State, us. So we thought what really stood out for us is being NM State. New Mexico State as a whole can sometimes be, you know, be cumbersome. So that NM State really stands out. So you put that on the center floor, everybody kind of has an idea where they are. The most engaging part of the Pan Am has to be the new Jumbotron. With the change from analog to full HD LED panels, fans can get a bigger picture of what's going on during the game. You went from watching Granny's 13 inch black and white to you know going to the IMAX theater. It was huge and the fans loved it and the players were, you know, you would catch them before the games looking at the introduction videos, etc. So I think it has really lent to in-game entertainment. You know, now in the old days, you know, uh, Aggie Vision does a great job and, you know, we would put different people on cameras, whether it's guys flexing or playing the bongos or the dance cam or whatever, you can just audibly hear the crowd because the picture is so much clearer and uh, it's just a totally different experience. So I'm really pleased with that addition. For those looking for a more exclusive experience, the Pan Am has been given a generous donation to add suites on the north side of the venue. Yeah, you know, uh, we had a donor uh, who's highly involved that uh, had an individual that they knew of that had an interest in supporting uh, NM State Athletics at a high level. And so that individual was attracted to the idea of uh, building suites and club seats within the Pan American Center uh, because that generated a revenue stream each and every year for the athletics department. So that was really the, the genesis of that. You had an individual in the community that wanted to support athletics, but had a vision to create a revenue stream. So this is not your typical suite where you're grabbing the Kleenex because you have a nosebleed. You are in the action there. I mean, you're 15 rows off the court, which is very rare from a suite standpoint. So I think when individuals walked in when we were doing the selling, they were like, wow, you're really close to the bench, unlike, you know, a lot of other places. It's only 112 individuals that have access to that area. And so it is a pretty intimate gathering. You know, there's a bar. It's the only place in the Pan American Center that has a full bar. So it's the only place that we're serving liquor. Uh, there's a buffet meal uh, during the first half of every single game. So individuals can come, they can get a drink, they can have dinner. Um, we see that uh, being utilized by business owners. And so really it's, it's just taking what's happening already in the stands and maybe magnifying it a little bit uh, just because uh, it, it becomes a little bit more of a social scene. So if you're looking for a good time or a sweet time, it's always a fun time at the Pan Am. With Aggie Vision, I'm Rito Rodriguez.